portion of the show. Let's go and talk about the newest film from Hammer Studios. Wakewood, Uncle Bill, which came out on Blu-ray disc and DVD uh, from Dark Sky Films recently. So we're going to talk about that. Okay. The opening of this movie is one of the most, I guess, hardcore openings I've seen in a while. And that is the... Uh, and there's going to be some spoilers in this, but, I mean, once you start watching the movie, you kind of have to spoil some of it to be able to even talk about what's going on in this movie. Right. And that is that a nine-year-old kid gets mauled to death by a fucking dog. Pretty damn violently, too. Yeah, and that's the opening. Yep. That's like the very beginning of the movie. So it's this couple, and this, it's their child, and um, they decide after the death, I guess, that they need to move to get away from the area where they're at. So they move into a place which is the town of Wakewood, which is where the gets the name and all that stuff. And the town is um, pretty accepting of them, actually, a little bit too accepting in a way. And as the story moves along, you begin to find out that there's some weird kind of witchy undertones. Ooh, ooh, witchy woman. She got the moon in her eye. Yeah. Uh, so, basically, Wakewood, she notices uh, some strange things in Wakewood that are happening with uh, the... There's one particular girl that comes into her work that acts bizarre and says, Oh, this looks different now and just acts weird, you know. And she cut like one evening when they're uh, she's frustrated and she's like, I want to leave this place. I don't like this place. Their vehicle gets broke down. They can't leave, so they go for help. And she comes across this weird uh, in this barn in this uh, farmhouse, this seance type thing, you know, uh, much like a cult something a cult would do mm-hmm. she didn't get get the whole gist of it um but she's pretty scared if you know what i mean yeah there's a whole little back story in this movie where um one of the farmers that are in this town gets crushed to death by i guess it's is it a bull or a cow or what the hell is it exactly i'm not sure i think it's a, a bull and then with him being dead, the town is basically tells the couple, okay, we can bring your child back to life, but only if it's been less than a year since she's died. The incident, yeah. Yeah, and it, it can only be for like three days. She'll only live for like three days after she's been brought back. And they're like, oh, yeah, but, we, well, th- there's the twist to all this, but basically there's a lot of weird cow shit in this movie too like it's just stuff randomly has to do with cows yeah like the big fan of cattle yeah the the child is rebirthed through a cattle <laughs> yeah which she is gets really, all ooey and gooey inside the cow which is a really horrible scene in the movie too but of course as these movies you generally go everything's not as it seems with the kid that's right and um the kid like everything starts going fine and then, you know, they notice something's off with the little girl. And it does, like, it turns into, like, kind of an evil kid movie at that point. And so you have a little bit of Pet cemetery going on. You have a little bit of, like, Omen going on. And um, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting little movie. And it's one that I didn't really hear anything about until it came out and people started talking about it. This movie actually does, though, manage to kind of capture the weird kind of feel of those some of those Hammer movies too, though. Like it's yeah. it's a very it's a very British. It kind is, of but at least it's a good British. Yeah. Yeah, it's not one of those that like tries to throw in their stupid comedy shit. Yeah, it's it's more of like an atmospheric British movie. Like think of The Wicker Man or something like yeah. that, mixed in with stuff like Pet Cemetery. And got good visuals. Yeah, and, and I didn't really understand the ending that well. Like, there's a whole thing about the ending where you're not really sure, like, I don't want to give it away, but the status of the kid, I guess yeah. you could say. But um, 
other than that, though, I thought it was really good. Basically, the ending kind of leaves room for a sequel if they ever wanted to do one, I guess. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, all these movies do, really. But it's something completely different than what you're used to seeing, especially right now. And it was an attempt to make an original film. It's like, it's a cross between a whole shit ton of different movies, like all jammed into one, like influences like The Wicker Man and Pet Cemetery, and even The Manitou. Manitou? I never yeah. Just weird kind of movies about rebirth and things like that and then that's the theme it's got a lot of decent gore in it too it does and it's very violent yeah it's like a especially towards kids and shit like yeah. dogs animals it's a big no-no in american cinema for sure it certainly does push a lot of boundaries i'll say that and yeah i really enjoyed it i was surprised with it how much i enjoyed it and uh especially being that it was 100 percent british because that's usually not my bag but i uh i would i highly recommend it the Blu-ray itself, I don't know about the Blu-ray. I mean, it looked good enough, but, like, I guess just where it was a lower-budget um, production or whatever that, uh, it did, you know, it didn't shine like a lot of uh, newer movies would on high def. As far as anything on the actual Blu-ray, though, there's only deleted scenes and the trailer, and that's it. And, really, I don't know what more he expected from a release like this, but, uh, like I said, Dark Sky put it out, and you should probably go see it. Go see it. The time is now. Go, go, go. Wakewood from Dark Sky Films.